On September the 2nd, we have the highly anticipated rematch. We are back in Manchester, but what has changed? We're here with both fighters to find out. Liam, Chris, I hope you're both well. Um, let's briefly talk about the first fight. Round one and two, not much to, to split you. Round three was interesting. Chris, you had su some uh, success. Liam wasn't backing off. Uh, and then in the fourth round, we have the the elbow situation. Liam, I know you've said there's no elbow. Chris, was it an elbow? Was the fight stopped too early? Was the fight stopped too early? Um, listen, I wanted to continue. That's all I know. The referee is the referee. He made his decision. There was no overturning it, but, you know, I was on my feet. I was. I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to continue, and I'm not a vulnerable fighter. You know, I'm. I, I've, I've been in this game a long time. Um, yeah. Someone like me says, "Listen, let's keep going. Let let me keep going. What do you, What are you saving me from? More of a beating? This is what we do. We get hit. We get hurt. Um, you know, if he if he was going to knock me out or put me on the canvas again or or continue continue the onslaught, then good." Let him do that. Give the give the fans what they want, which is an action packed fight. Or let me uh, let me overcome the adversity. Let me uh, let me get back into the fight. Um, but again, you know, it's uh, it's all ifs and buts. Um, you know, I I uh, I was complacent after the the third round. Um, after the third round success. Um, you know, I guess uh, maybe I got a little bit too comfortable. Maybe I got a little bit too uh, complacent, and um, you know, I paid the price. He he he, he did what he did. He, he caught me, um, and uh, all of a sudden the fight was over. And now we're here. Now we are here. We're back. We're back in in fight camp. Back in fight mode. Getting ready to uh, to set the record straight. We're now four weeks out. Um, Liam, we've had to wait maybe a little bit longer than you would have hoped for uh, after the injury. How's your camp been? How is the back? Is it fully healed? Yeah, my camp's been going well. Back, Back's fine now. Um, and like I said, Liam Smith's fine. Liam Smith, Liam Smith, no injuries, beats Chris every day, the week and twice on my Sunday. I said this last time, I'll say it again. There was a you know a possibility that we that you you may have been able to work through the niggle and you almost didn't reschedule. Um, the way really you know that that this and this is what we you know we I'll openly get the points across the, the whole reschedule for July was never ever anything to do with me. I pulled out to June seventeenth. This is the man for the excuses to be totally honest. You know, I can name you five, six, seven excuses is made from the fight, but. You know, I pulled out a one one date and one date only, June seventeenth. The fight got rescheduled to July in July, to no, no not no reason of my own, uh, and then, you know, the the new date got set. So one one date I pulled out of with a back injury, and like I said, that that's it. No excuses from my end. Never has been an excuse. No elbow excuse. No fitness excuse. No weight excuse. No referee excuse either. I'll never make an excuse. Fight's almost here now. Chris is um a big one for you. You've relocated, you've changed your your trainer. Tell us why and why Bomac. Um I was I wouldn't say I relocated. I've always trained in Vegas. Um, but yeah, the camp, the camp's been out here for this uh for this fight. I wanted a change of scenery. I wanted a, I wanted a change of energy. Um and yeah, now I'm I'm officially working with Bomek, uh, Terence Crawford's trainer. Um, I have Terence as well in the corner because it's fucking not going to help you, mate. So if if, if Terence got beat the weekend, would you have, would you have hired Bomek? Uh, yeah, I would have. We we had already agreed we had already agreed before that fight that we were going to work together. Um, obviously, seeing the um, the outcome just gave me that extra, um, you know encouragement and, and uh, happiness in my decision to take him on. Um, you know, it's, listen, it's, we got four weeks left. So I'm not, my, my, my game plan, my, my mindset going into this fight isn't going to be changed uh, in four weeks. Um, he's not there to do that. Him and his team are there to just help me prepare and help me um, do what I want to do. 
um, you know, and if everything goes well, it could be uh, it could be a great relationship moving forward. But um, I know what I have to do to to deal with Liam. Um, Omac isn't there to you know he's not going to make any huge differences, you know. But um, I trust in his team. You know, the the proof is in the pudding. You saw what happened over the weekend. So um, yeah, we're going to go in there. We're going to get the job done. Because there's no proof yeah, in no pudding. You... Amir Khan used them and he didn't and he didn't do nothing for Amir. Like there's no proof in nothing like that. That that's totally the proof is in, is in him helping prepare Terence for Errol and, and watching what Terence did. Like that gives me confidence in uh the ability that they have as a team. He also Amir Khan hired him for Calbrook and got beat and got stopped. Okay. So that, that you, that would... you sound like you sound like this is all on repeat. Everything you're saying, you said the first time around. You know what it takes to beat Liam. You know this. You know that. It's irrelevant. I do. I, I do know what it takes. Why didn't you do it? I was doing it, and then you know what happened. This, happened. This is what we just. I went back. I didn't want to interrupt you before. For for a man who's been involved in some like one side of fights, you know, you, you you've landed some shots like you, you know you box Spike O'Sullivan. You were landing shots that were, you know, you, whatever else. Are you really that deluded? Are you really drawing on that much, like that little 20, 20 second period at the end of round three? Are you really drawing on that for some confidence? It wasn't about the round three. It was the fact that you didn't touch me for three rounds. And... Why are you the only man to say that? Why are you the only man to believe that you was like I'm, so dominating I'm not, that fight? I'm not the only. You didn't land a punch for three rounds, Liam. You got who's... peppered with, with uppercuts. Who has ever, ever agreed with you? Who's ever agreed with you? I don't need anyone to agree with me. I saw, I I was in the fight, you know? mate. I was in front of you. You didn't touch me. The yes, only you time didn't you know what day me. it was when you got stopped. You did not yeah, know okay, what day it was, true. and that was the next yeah, breath. No, so the man who's been involved in, for, for, no, yeah, we'll go back to that because that's what happened. I mean, that was the fallout. Right, that, that's that's not what we're, we're talking about, are we? We're talking about the fact that you were dominated for three rounds before that happened. If that's domination, you're in a world of trouble. If that's domination, well, you didn't touch me. You can't touch dominance. I know. I know how to beat you. This. Yeah, I only need to touch you in. once and you fold. I only need to yeah. touch you once and you there folded. Was, there was no folding at hey, all. I was up there in you your face folded, ready to go. Like the fellow out there's, there's, there's been, there's been. You were folded off once. So if I touch you once and that happens to you, you what, 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 like, what do you expect, mate? If I only yeah. have to touch you once and that happens, you're in trouble, aren't you, really? Then, then you've got no problems in this rematch, right? It's just going to no be a problem. brief weekend, huh? Yep. Liam, you've said that you look forward to to ending Chris's career. Do you feel like another loss, and this is the end of the road for him? No, no, because like you say, you, you know, you you sit and listening to Chris in front of you. No, definitely not. It'll be Bo Max fault probably. Chris, uh, you know, were you to lose again, would you consider retirement, or do you still feel like you know there's more fights out there for you? Yeah, we're not we're not doing retirement talk here. We're not here to talk hey, about. Is this on repeat from the last time? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not talking about anything after Liam. I'm not talking about Conor Ben. I'm not talking about trilogies. I'm not talking about anything. All I care about is September second and uh, and setting the score straight. In terms of the rematch, Chris, we've seen you looking vicious in training. Uh, will you go back to your aggressive style for the rematch, or, or you know, is it, does anything change? I'm not going to say what I'm going to do, and to be honest, you know, it's all going to, it's all going to, it's all going to come together on the night. But you know, I, I if if I want to go and do exactly what I did in the last fight, that's enough to beat Liam. I already showed that. <laughs> I, I just don't. I, but but um, yes, but you know, but whether I box his head off again, or whether I go and then go to war, or whether I do both, you, you nearly make yourself see. laugh when you say this. You guys are going to see. Liam, do do you think the fight is still there in Chris? You know, do you feel like maybe you you took something from him in the first fight? I, he, Chris knows full well what got took from. You know, he knows full well what's been took from him now. What he's what he's prided his whole career on. You know, and I've said, look, I said before, and I respect him as a fighter. I always did. It's why you know, it's why I took the fight on on the date I'd be ready for. Um, knew I needed to be in shape to beat Chris. Go fighter on his day, but prides himself on his chin, his air of invincibility has been cracked now, it's gone, and he knows he can be it. And more importantly, he knows it's me who's done it too. 
And he's always been able to compete at a high level because he's tough and he's game and he's got a good chin. Now, the next man he's in front of is the man who cracked all them, you know, all them, all, 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 all the chinks in the arm. It was me who done it. So, he's lost that now. And, you know, like I said, Chris will only know what he's like. The next time he steps foot in the ring, it's done time we'll see how much that's played a part in the new Chris Eubank. Chris, the, the first fight was exciting, had a, a dramatic finish. In your mind, will this fight be an even better, more dramatic fight? For sure. There's much more on the line now. There's much more, there's much more danger in this fight now. Um, he has... He what's has, on the line, Chris? Can I ask just the question, what's on the line? He has his confidence, his newfound confidence, which he didn't have in the first fight. And uh, Chris, you look at I, the interviews, I said that every day of the weekend, twice on a Sunday. Yeah, I, I know that, but talk is cheap. You didn't believe that. That's why when you did win, you're uh, you're jumping up and down, screaming and crying and hugging your brother. That was the words down your throat, what you said, Chris. You did, you I was told all week I couldn't didn't hear think you. that was going to happen. Nobody Chris, thought it was going to happen. Do you want me to play the gloves that are off, Chris? Do you want me to replay the gloves that are off where you asked me the question? Like like I said, talk is cheap. I know you didn't believe what was going to happen happened. Nobody did, and you know it's not going to happen again. And um, that's why this fight's going to be so much more exciting because you know, now it's like uh, I have everything to prove. Before it was kind of like, all right, well, I just need to go in there and win. Now it's like, if I lose, if I if if, if this happens again, you know, what what where do I go? You know, so uh, that that wasn't the case in the first fight. So it's going to be very uh, interesting um, to see how that kind of affects my performance. How does this fight end this time, in your opinion, Chris? Questions are so boring. Every time, oh, how is this going to end? What are you going to do? When's the knockout? What you do you want to ask, him to ask Chris? What do you want him to ask? What I don't know. Some, do something, ask something new. Something new. How's the fight going to end? I mean, the fight is it's, it's going to end. One of us, one of us is going to get stopped. That's for sure. Um, it's not going to go twelve rounds. It can't go twelve rounds. Um, and I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that, um, yeah, that it's a Chris Eubank Jr. win. Liam, um, when you envision this fight, what do you see happening? W were you shocked with with how the first fight went? Like Chris said, like I said, I was shocked how easy he folds. I touched him once, and he and he was like Bambi on ice. Yeah, I was shocked how how much he uh, he folds off. You know, one right hand, left uppercut, left hook. Yeah, um, little elbow in the middle of it, and then he, you know, he's on career street. So like. I just don't know what way, what way, what, what what way can Chris come next time? Come and have a fight with me. You're there to be nailed. Try and box me like that again, or do whatever he done last time. He makes too many mistakes, and I punish him. You're both here now. There's been a a lot of animosity, a, a rivalry. Uh, any questions? Any statements? And anything that you want to get off your chest to each other with four weeks to go? Who's the question to? Both. Who wants to go first? Does anyone have anything to say? Uh, do I have anything to say? I mean, we've we've said so much already. It's kind of uh, you know, there's not much left to left to do now except fight. You know, um, we've done the we've done the gloves are off, which is going to come out soon. Um, and this is the first digital face to face or press conference or whatever you want to call this I've ever done. It's kind of strange, but um, listen, I'm uh, I'm in a good place. I'm um, I'm comfortable. I'm happy with the setup. Um, you know, Manchester is going to be, yeah, it's going to be. Well, I don't know how it's going to be actually. I don't know. It's probably going to be the same as last time. It's think, probably, do, yeah. do you think you gained a few more fans, Chris, with your little Manchester United? Strict the other day to just try and get more fans on board. That's what we uh, tried to do. Well, I'm not trying to get more fans. Is you know, I I enjoy watching them play. Are you a Man United uh, fan? Yeah, but it's 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 not about football. It's not about um, gaining fans. You know, we are. 
you know, we're there to fight and we're going to be fighting in Manchester. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I offered I'm, you London, Chris. What's that? I offered you London. Um, no, you I didn't offer London. Me. I offered you London. But, uh, you know, it came down okay. to... I accepted yeah. London, shall we say. I accepted London. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, the powers that be wanted it in Manchester, and that's fine. You know, I don't mind being in Manchester, so. in, in in hostile territory. If that's what it's going to be, I don't know. Um, it was last time. Um, but, you know, crowds, fans, support, haters, um, none of that has ever affected me. Um I think Liam's the type of guy that needs, you know, he needs a bit of hometown support. He needs to be in, you know, in a place where there's going to be a lot of, uh, it's you know, whole career abroad, I fought my whole career abroad. I, f I fought abroad more times than you. Well, I'm not. We're not talking about abroad. We're talking about in, in, uh, in hostile, hostile territory. Russia, in Russia, I fought the Mexican in Mexico. I fought Canelo in Texas. I fought Tammy Mungir in Vegas. You, you talk, I'm, we're talking about hostile territory, so I'm just saying, have you, besides having the yield, have you fought outside the UK? I, I've been in more backyards than you, let's just put it that way. Chris, do you want me to be honest with you? That's because you can't sell in London, mate, or you can't sell in Brighton. Okay, all right. That, 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 that's true. You're, you're a big name on TV, but you can't sell a bum on a seat. You, you know that for a fact yourself, and come on, that's just... Yeah, you know, yeah, you're right. A big, you're yeah, a big right. name I, in, in TV. I you're a big name in... I can't sell any tickets. Nobody cares. Yeah, all right. What's next? Yeah, no, see, no, no, we're having a conversation. Not now. You're putting a. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's boring. It's boring. I've heard. I've heard that before. I mean, let, let's 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 talk about something else. What are you going to do, Liam? Are you going to do anything? Yes, you're a big, you're right? a big enough name to get people to your city or your venues, and you can't do it. Okay, that's good. Everybody's talking about what am, I, what am I going to do differently? Uh, let's talk about let's talk about you. What are you going to do? Not think I'm going to just pick either the right or the left and see which one comes first. I don't need to do. What do I need to change, Chris? Well, I don't know. Everyone's always asking me what what, what am I going to do differently. I'm just you got to stop me. You got stopped in four rounds. That's why. That's why people going to ask you. No, people need to ask you because you got stopped in four rounds. I didn't get stopped. I didn't get fudged. I didn't get. You know, I I I didn't go nowhere. So people need to ask you what you need to change because you got stopped in four rounds. That's why the question is. People are asking me what do I think you come differently with, and then if you come differently, what do I have to answer? And that will be shown on on September second if you come to have a fight with me. Be my what guest. Would you, what would you What would you like me to do? Is there Is there a style you would like to for me to approach you with uh, in September? Whatever way you approach it, because I've got the answer for. I've told you this before. The last one. I told oh, you I this get that. But I'm saying, do you have a preference? Either or, mate. Like I said, either or. You, you, you try and box me like you did last time. You make too many mistakes. You come to have a fight with me. You're there to be nailed. It probably go quicker than four. So, so no, no preference. You don't want. You don't want to just have a tear up, or you don't want to have a boxing match. You have a tear just... up, it'll go quicker than four. Okay. So it just depends how long you want to last. If you have a tear up with me, it goes quicker than four. But for for for, for me or for you, it just depends what percentage I turn up. I might just turn up at sixty and give you the chance this time. Uh, you got some, you got some lines today, Elliot. That's that's cute. That's real cute. I thought you guys had nothing to say to each other. Um, any final words? I, I feel like you probably got it all off your chest right then. Now, no. I'm, listen, I'm we I'm good. I'm good, and I'll see you the second, Chris. I'll see Bo Mac. Tell Bo Mac and tell him to say hello. Yeah. Pretty much, you know, we're uh, we're four weeks away. We got we got the work to do, and um, yeah, this one is this one is important. This one is uh, do or die for both of us. But um, Let's stop putting me in your category, mate. You're in the last chance to lose. Stop putting me in no, your no, category. No, no, no. You you're, keep you're saying this settle group. settle the score. This settles not, and I'm winning one nil. Don't forget. You keep saying yeah. this. I don't want to re reiterate it to you because I'm like I said, I'll beat you again, but. You know, you keep saying settle the score. Regardless, if you were to ever win this fight, you still make it one one. It's not settle no score. But well, it settles it settles the score for me. And uh, you know, that yeah. is obviously what I'm what I'm referring to when I say that. People keep talking about um, you know, trilogies and all this stuff. It's uh you know, who knows? 
But I'm not. I'm not... You went one one like, but Trilogy's a little bit, a little bit a long way away for you just yet, though. That's, ah, you only okay. have a Trilogy to one one. I'm not thinking about that. All I'm thinking about is uh, how I'm going to take you apart in a few weeks' time, and how it's going to have... like how, how. I I already asked you what you would preferred. You know, if you tell me what you want, then then I'll take you apart that way. You just got to. I'm me. asking how you're going to take me apart. I've already took you apart. I took you apart. No bother. Oh, no, so you, I'm apart. You, you caught me with one shot. That's not taking somebody apart. That's one. Uh, that's a that's a one hit wonder. That's never going to happen again. Chris, one never going to happen again. One shot was it, Chris? What, what shot was it, Chris? It was it was one shot, and it will what never happen again. Tell me what shot it was. Come on, let's, let's... What, what what's the replay? I don't need to I don't need to answer your question about what shot it was. If you don't remember, then you don't remember. But it will never happen again. It was a one hit wonder. And this was time around, this was time it the left hook at the end? What's on your eye? What you said was the elbow to your eye. You're not going to be jumping up and down. The elbow, yeah. Trust me on that. What, well. guys? Uh, as always, it's been entertaining. Um, I wish you both the best uh, for the next four weeks, um, and I will see you in fight week. Santan, see you soon. Yeah. See you soon. Right,